Now, ladies and gentlemen, meet this kid, Ryan Sheckler, age 13, the youngest competitor at this year's X Games. He's amazing. I was four years old when I first started skating. The first feeling I think I ever remember was pain. When I first started, I loved it. Just being able to go fast down the driveway and hang out with your friends. I think he's a maniac. And uh, just skate and have a blast. People keep on telling me that I'm the youngest person here. This is my first X Games. I'm excited to be here. That's all I want to do is land my run and see what happens. It's pretty interesting when you see little kid footage, you think that was so long ago. But for Ryan, that was a couple years ago, Chris. He's only 13, skating against his heroes and competing right there with them, beating them. Yeah, I love the picture of him standing next to Tony Hawk like any other skate fan. And here he is out at the X Games on the park course, just ripping it up with the big boys. Well, he knows what to do. He qualified for the X Games by winning the Slam City Jam. Yeah, definitely. That was a nice uh, kickflip frontside board slide up there. He's, he's got a lot of composure and style for such a little kid. Huge, huge kickflip. Well, he's been skating a long time, Chris, 10 years. Yeah, just three quarters of his life. Oh! Amazing. Kickflip Indy just going big off of that transfer from the bank wall into the deck ramps. Frontside feeble pumping through the corners. A little frontside air. My goodness, look at the power he's got. Yeah, a lot of speed, and for how small he is, he really doesn't look that small. He just is ripping it up. Great combination, the fact that he's adapting well and just hitting everything that comes in the course and actually doing a trick. Whoa, what are we seeing right now? We're seeing a 13-year-old dominate the park competition like no one. 50-50 oh. up and through the kink rail. What a run. We definitely got a crowd favorite now. Ryan Sheckler just coming in with blazing speed, starting off backside Smith on the step up rail, not letting up at all. Kick flip, frontside board slide, executed perfectly. And then this, this huge kick flip, caught so clean, landing with power. A little flutter in the heart there for Ryan. I was scared, but I just went ahead and made everything else, including this combination. Wow. The judges noticed this guy. I'll tell you what, he made everything. And look at this, 93.33, he's in first place. Oh my gosh, crowd's going nuts for Ryan Sheckler right now. What a performance, and mom, you must be proud. Do you, have you ever fallen off ever in your entire life? You cheat? <laughs> uh, sometimes I fall, but I'm glad I didn't today. So what do you, what do you get to say to all these uh, old, retarded people that can't match you? <laughs> uh, no, I just got lucky. I you got just got lucky? Yeah. I should just say for you, tough luck. They're just going to have to deal with it. And they're going to have to deal with it for like another 20 years. How do you, how do you think they feel? I don't know. I mean, they probably want to kill me, but it's all good. <laughs> you did good, man. You did really good. Well done. Thanks a lot. Well, that's what the X Games are all about, people. The new generation making history. It happened today in the form of 13-year-old Ryan Sheckler because of moves like that. The youngest ever X Games gold medalist. So here's Leticia Buffoni currently in second place. For gold, she would need an 86.34 in front of the hometown crowd. Does she have what it takes to win her first ever gold? She's got to put this entire run together and increase the difficulty factor from her previous runs quite a bit. And so far, it's a repeat. She's got the crowd behind her here in Foz. Coming up on 15 seconds. Yeah, as of right now, this is the same run that we have seen. So, this is her chance right now to do something big. It all comes down to this for the gold. Lip slide, that might do it. Wow. She saved her best for last, no doubt about it. Listen to this crowd. That would be close. That's a close call. I would not want to be a judge right now. So here we go. Leticia currently in second place. Was that the run to overtake Lacey Baker for the gold? As the girls look on. The score coming in. 
Stacy Baker, and it does. Leticia Buffoni has taken over the top spot. She is your gold medalist here in Foz. Listen to that crowd, hometown crowd, so excited. Coming off an injury, too. Look at it. It looks like it's even hard for her to run on that foot, but she just won a professional skateboard event. And she's throwing the hardware out there to the crowd. And how do you like that? Leticia's first ever gold medal comes in her home country on her final run. Wow. I mean, Tony, you called it. It looked like an identical run to what she had done on the previous two. But she nails it. Let's go down to the third member of our team, Jordan Whitley, who is with our gold medalist. Leticia, you stepped it up right there at the end and played through the pain to take your first goal here at home. Can you describe this moment? I'm so happy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> you guys love you. You can say that in Brazil, and this crowd means so much to me. What would you like to share with them in Portuguese? Valeu, Brasil. Amo vocês. Congratulations. She is pumped. Tony, let's uh, walk through her last run there, the gold medal run. Everything was textbook, pulling off everything she needed to. And look at this so ender. Soft. Right here, this lip slide. That clinched it for her, for sure. So solid, too. To win it on her final run, as we take one final look, here on that last trick. She needed it, and she knew it. That was it, she knew it too. That was such a clean lip slide, exactly how you want to do it. That is good of a finish as you will find in any contest. So it's coming down to these two guys. Again, great friends, but rivals on this ramp. PLG does not like living in the shadow. Sean White's fame on this vert ramp. Boom, big, look at that. Sean has got the power. What does he need to do? Faking. He needs to make this whole run. This is the run he's been wanting to do right here. This fake is 85. He wants to do the 720 right here, but he's not going to. He's going to do the heel flip, frontside calf, and backside 360, 720. He's got it. This could be the run he wants right here. Oh, very Body barrel, oh, heel flip, body barrel, front side 540. That's it. That's the best run we've seen. If the judges don't say so, I don't care. That is the best run we've seen here tonight. Absolutely. Standing ovation inside wow. the Nokia. Pierre-Luc Gagnon can make his own fate. The judges give Sean White that 93. What is Pierre Luc going to do? His four feet on the line. Sean White, the last man to beat him here at X Games in 2007. And, he's and got that it. is it. That is it. Sean White gets gold in the super fight at Winter X Games, shows up at summer and does it again on Burt. What a thrilling ending to this final. Uh, Sean, that was the run he wanted. I mean, he really has been working on that run for, for a couple weeks. And I can honestly tell you, the day the game started, I skated with him in the morning before he drove up here to practice. I skated with him on my ramp because he wanted to work on some stuff. And that was the line he was working on. Sean White is with the third member of our team and his good friend, Keir Dillon. All right, Sean, talk about some pressure right there. The way the clock worked out, you were able to take another run. Talk about what was going through your mind before you dropped in for that final run. I um, just wanted to put it down for all the fans that came out. And I've been working so hard to get this going this season of skating. I don't know, I, I was working my way through the tricks, and after that seven, I landed so perfect, I had the energy, I'm like, I'm making this happen, I don't care. But yeah. <laughs> talk about, the, yeah. Talk about the, the rivalry with you and PLG. I mean, just keeping it fun, but I mean, you guys pushing each other out there. Thoughts on that? Yeah, Pierre's amazing. Um, he made me go for it, I'm all just cut up right now, but um, you know, it's a rivalry in the sense, but we're still friends. and. I know he's going to be gunning for me next year, but uh, 
This is the second time I've ever won Summer X Games, so I'm beside myself. So. I know how much this means to you, winning on skate. I mean, talk about just, you've accomplished so much in your career. What drives you or continues to drive you to just keep pushing yourself? Um, gosh, I, I don't know. I mean, it's the fans. It's the, the fact that I know you're going to hear, be here asking me questions afterward. I got to have cool answers. and I'm just blanking right now. Um, no, it's good. It's just, it's one of those things where it's hard to motivate, and then you, you get put with this giant obstacle like X Games in front of you. And, you're doing anything to get to the top of it, and that's really where I find the motivation. And man, the crowd was just screaming for my run. I could feel it. So thank you guys out there. Yeah, give it up to them, everyone in the crowd. Congratulations, Shaw yeah. White. Back from Outside the Staples Center, the fans packed in for the skateboard big air event. This monolith is the largest skateboard ramp ever built. Danny Way, during practice, drops in and makes history with a 79-foot world record distance, a 360 no less, over the big gap. Stepping off, Danny points at it. He knows he got it. This may be the only ramp in the world that has an elevator to take you to the top. Bob Bernquist and Danny taking the ride. This is no easy task, this ramp. Some serious slams were taken by all of the competitors, including Danny, but in the end, Tricks were made. Andy McDonald with a barrel hand flip into a huge kickflip ending for a bronze medal. Pierre Luc Gagnon, our silver medalist from Skateboard Best Trick and Skateboard Vert, setting down a big 360 and a one footed McTwist for the silver. But there were no serious challengers for Danny Way, the only competitor going off the large gap. A massive 360 into a Christ Air, 20 plus feet for the gold medal. Danny Way, this was your day. It's gonna do that Bob thing. What will happen is what will happen. Oh. Oh no! What? <laughs> what are you doing, Bob? Into the switch mode. Oh, oh my switch god! Into the oh! To bacon. Bacon, 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 what I just witnessed. What do you think we can expect from Jake right now? You've been coaching him all week. I mean, Jake did what he told me. His, that was, he got his foundation run in, and now he's going for the 720 to a big 540. And uh, if he hits that, he's got his backup plan covered. The 720, oh, he's gone! Oh! Are you kidding me? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh man, that was that was the heaviest slam we've ever seen. Oh my god. Wow, I can't believe you made that 720. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have the best medical staff uh, in the business right now. And they are evaluating. Uh, that was about as far Jake as you could Brown. fall. Who, who slammed as hard as we've ever seen someone slam after making that 720. These are the dangers that come with these guys who are not stuntmen. They are some of the best athletes in the world and sometimes this happened. We will join you shortly. And they are attending to him, the crowd, the GM crowd. Well, yeah, you can see behind me right now, the medical staff is checking Jake Brown out, something we never like to see, but I did go and observe. He is talking, he is conscious, he is moving, and I will say he is surrounded by just a ton of support, the skaters, and you can see them cheering him on right now, and we will keep you posted as we hear news. Well, that is awesome. Are you, are you kidding me? Is he up? He is not standing up. There's no way he could be standing up from that. Unbelievable.
unbelievable. I don't, I don't understand what how they built from. Broken. What are they built from in Sydney, Australia, oh that he is walking right now after that slam? The man fell from the sky over 50 feet. Unbelievable. I've never seen anyone walk away from anything like that. Jake Brown is a warrior. Travis Pastrana is in shock. He's like, what? <laughs> and could you imagine what's going through Scott Murray's mind as he's about to do a double back flip? I can't believe that he's walking. Um, believe to the How in the world is he standing? It's like he jumped out of a building. He jumped out of a building and he landed on the sidewalk, and now he's walking away. It's the Women's Skateboard Park Final. And there we see Bridget and Brandon Zoyner. The proud here to parents. watch their daughter try to put it down. Now, if you watched her in the park qualifier just a few weeks ago in Boise, it wasn't about just getting here. She won it outright. She's no joke. Turning 13 yesterday, she's not here just to get on the podium. She's here to win this thing, Lindsay. She is fierce, and she has grown so much in the last year. You can see in her skating, she's so much more powerful. You can see how high she's going out of the bowl. I think that plays a huge part in how much she's grown into her skating over the last year. There's so much nice gay twist. in her riding. So much purpose. She's got her run planned out. Nice air over that funny little hip. Oh, beautiful Smith grind through the corner. She just missed the podium at X Games last year in her debut, finishing fourth. She's utilizing every piece of the course. Nice lip slide up on that wall. Whoa, look at that little three. That was awesome. Wow, sticking her entire run. That is huge for the judges to see her stick everything, use every part of the course, and have her trick end at the last second there. She really planned that out. And we don't want to shortchange her. That graphic was accurate as of 12 hours ago. She is now 13 years old. With that score, Brighton Zoyner oh my God. becomes the youngest to ever win an X Games gold medal. Wow, what a podium. Poppy getting bronze. You can see the emotion between these girls. They spend so much time together. This is what X Games is all about. History making moments. That is your podium. Poppy Star Olsen earning the bronze. Jordan Barrett a silver. And 13-year-old Brighton Zoyner taking home the gold. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a big couple of days for you. It's been your birthday. All these great things have been happening. You have taken the medal that Ryan Sheckler had for so long. You are now the youngest ever to hold this in history. What is going on inside your head right now? That this was the best birthday in my entire life. And I will never forget this. And I cannot wait to go celebrate. And I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Minnesota. This was amazing. So. Thank you. We love seeing you out there. We'll let you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Perhaps the greatest birthday gift in the world, an X Games gold medal. The youngest to ever win on this stage. Lindsay Adams, Hawkins, Pastrana, can you believe it? Dude, the average age of the podium was 16 years old. You're out here doing that. Can you math. believe that? I had to do the math because it's amazing. <laughs> So it all boils down to this, Tony. P-Rod currently sitting in the bronze medal position of third. If he lands a trick of 7.8 or higher, he will take the overall lead away from Nigel Houston. What's he got in store? Switch back to the tail slide. It's clean. Now Nigel scored a 7.7 when he did that trick. An 8.4 for P-Rod, wow. That jumps him up in the first place. And you want to talk about pressure. Nija needed a trick to get into the final today. He's going to need a trick of 8.5 or higher to win today's final. 
I wonder why that scored a full point five half point. Amazing. So here is Nigel Houston. You want to talk nerves of steel? It all comes down to this for the win. Whoa. Take two. We rarely see that. Is Nigel rattled? Change his mind there for what trick he wants to do. We've never seen this before in Street League. Nigel needing a trick, a big one, to win this thing. This guy is very good. There is Paul Rodriguez. Cannot concede anything quite yet. It all comes down to this. Oh, oh my flip. gosh! Over the, over the hubba. Nigel Houston, an wow. 8.5, and Nigel Houston on the last trick of the contest takes it away, defending his gold medal. Wow, that was so close. Unbelievable, Tony. A tenth of a point separates gold from silver here. This is that storybook ending we've been waiting for. He needed an 8.4, and Nigel Houston gets an 8.5. Let's go down to Jordan Whitley, who's out on the course with the defending gold medalist. Jordan, what's going on? All right, Nigel, talk about a pressure cooker moment. You had to make it happen on that last run. You stopped, you went back. What was going through your mind up there? I was so nervous. I've never felt that much pressure. And I've never felt a feeling like that before. Um, congrats to Paul. That was, he gave me such an amazing battle and made me work for that so hard. Um, when I threw in and then went back that one time, it was because the wind was picking up a lot. So I, I had to make sure everything was just right to make it happen. And somehow I pulled it off. I don't know how. And lastly, you talk about the guys that were pushing you out here. What were they doing that was, was anything getting into your head or was anything, you know, really pushing you to do something crazy out there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, everyone out there is killing it so hard and the progression is going at such a high level. Each and every contest, it gets gnarlier and gnarlier. And uh, Paul, with tricks like switch flip back 50s down the hubba, like, you really have to give it your all. And uh, thank God I had that hard flip for, a, for an option for a trick because uh, I knew it was going to get just enough to get me on top. OK, well, take a look at the screen up here. We're going to let you relive that moment. Take us through that last trick. I don't even know what I was thinking. Like, I only landed that one time in practice. And that was three days ago. So I seriously, like, I didn't think I could do it. But um, I thought my legs were definitely just going to give out on me or something. But somehow I pulled it off. I have no idea how. Congrats to everyone, though. Everyone killed it so hard. And thanks for, thanks for pushing me. Congratulations, guys. Send things back to you. Wow. Uh, thank you, Jordan. Nigel Houston defending his gold medal. His second consecutive Street League win. Paul Rodriguez having to settle for silver. Manny Santiago from the SLS Select Series to the bronze medal here at Street League Skateboarding. Tony, that may be the best finish the history of this league's ever seen. With that 1260 on the quarter pipe, but he seems to be getting closer each time. Get rich or die trying. I don't think he's going to stop until he puts this thing down. This could be it. Oh, a little low on the landing, but he's got it. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh! Mitch, he just lands the... What is going on? Okay. Knights of it. Columbus! And he, he sketched off the gap, and it just put him in a, a good speed position. I don't believe what I have seen! Look how focused he is right there. That is incredible. I don't... Look... I mean, that's a lot of work. His head is already spinning on the takeoff. There's a five, there's a nine, and another spin looks a little bit low on the landing, but just pulls it. Actually, that landing was really good. It wasn't low at all. Mitchy uh, Brusco goes where no person has gone before. Yeah, Mitchy. A 1260 at the X Games. Wow, like it was nothing. Focus look. It hasn't really even hit him. What? Yeah, what? there now. An 89.66, <laughs> good enough for first place. 
don't know where he's getting this energy. These guys are going on. That's it. Turn it up. Get the booty vibe going. Get him going. Pushing it up. Everybody picture it. Here we go. Feel it. Yeah.